In utilizing Hyper-V and creating virtual hard disks, you may have noticed that when you create a dynamic expanding hard disk, which we like to do if we're limited on disk space, that way when we create that initial 127 gig or 60 gig C drive per se, it expands to only the space that's needed. But if we then go in and reduce the space inside that drive that's being used, it doesn't reduce down the actual virtual hard disk space. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. So what I've done is on the right hand side here, I've gone out to where I'm storing my Windows 10 master disk image. So basically this is an operating system that I just installed. I installed the operating system and all of the updates. And at a certain point, it got to 28.6 gigs in size. And the virtual hard disk file is still that size. But if you notice over here, after running disk cleanup, after getting rid of the windows.old file from the fall creators update, I'm now down to 13.1 gigs in size. Even after I shut this down, the VHD stays at this size. So let me show you how you can actually reduce the size of the VHD and get back all of that disk space. So here's what we're gonna do. First thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and shut down the virtual machine that has the virtual hard disk that I want to compact. So I'll go ahead and shut that down. And then once it's shut down, I'm gonna open up the settings for this virtual hard disk. So here it is right here. I'll right click, I'll go to settings. At this point, I'm gonna choose the hard drive and let's just inspect it real quick. So here's the inspected data, it's 28.63, which pretty closely matches the full size of the VHDX file. Notice with a dynamically expanding up to 60 gig. So what I wanna do is from the settings menu, I'm gonna choose edit. I'm gonna choose next. Making sure I'm on the drive that I wanna compact, I'm gonna choose compact, choose next, get the summary, I'm gonna compact that and choose finish. Now at this point, I'll go ahead and pause while it compacts my virtual hard disk. So as you can see, it's completed. Let's go ahead and reinspect the drive. We were at 28.63. I'll go ahead and inspect the drive again. And now you'll notice it's at 24.66. If we go down here, it's also at 24.6. However, if you remember when we had the drive the virtual machine fired up, it was under 15 gig. So I'm not exactly sure why this is happening, but I have found a solution for it. Let me show you. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and fire back up the virtual machine, and we're actually gonna run a disk defrag on the virtual hard disk within the operating system. So we'll go ahead and wait for it to fire up. and then we'll go ahead and get into it. Once into it, we'll just go ahead and fire up File Explorer. We'll go to the C drive, right click to Properties, go to Tools, and we will optimize the disk. So if you notice, it's never run. This was a brand new install with all the updates, the fall creator, etc. Just for fun, we'll go ahead and analyze it. And we can see 61% space efficiency. We'll optimize it. This doesn't take long at all. It'll consolidate the slabs. I'll go ahead and pause while it finishes. So it's done, we'll go ahead and close it out. We'll say okay. And we're gonna shut down the machine again. And this time we'll go back in and rerun the compact tool again on the virtual drive. Right click to settings, click on the drive, edit, next. There's compact next and we'll choose finish. So it'll go ahead and edit, i.e. compact the virtual hard disk again. I'll go ahead and pause while it completes. All right, so it's gone ahead and run again. So we'll 
click inspect and this time around we should see a great deal of disk space let's go ahead and choose inspect it's taking a minute there it is we're down to 16.54 I can come over here right click on the virtual hard disk file itself go to properties and I should see the same result so there you go there's the secret take care